Jesus heals the blind by spitting on the eyes and then he touched the eyes in Bethsaida and he later changed his protocol in the book of John chapter 9 by spitting on the sand and he made a mud which he used to heal the eyes of the blind that is to tell us that spiritual assignment did not just start today it didn't start with us jesus himself carried out spiritual assignment so what then are we talking about today i will teach you something that when you do in the feeling name of the most high god you would be able to find out secret things that you've been itching, itching and longing to find out through a revelation how are you going to go about the spiritual assignments you would be needing an alligator pepper for the spiritual assignments yes an alligator pepper a new alligator pepper not an already used alligator pepper you get a new native alligator pepper and you pray on it i tell all my fans and followers that in whatsoever you do you must have to put God first he is the author and finisher of all faith he is the creator of heaven and earth all power in heaven and on earth belongs to him so do all your spiritual assignments in the unfilling name of the most high God so you bless this in the unfilling name of the most high God this is one of the fullness of the most high god like he said in the book of psalm 24 verse 1 that the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein so here is one of the fullness of the most high god he has given to us for the benefit of mankind so you do your prayer of thanksgiving do your prayer of mercy then you begin to bless us in the unfailing name of the most high god after blessing it then you take it to the back because whatsoever, whenever you want to do a spiritual assignment using an alligator pepper, you open it from the back. You take your hands to the back and open it. And while you're opening it from the back, while you're opening it from the back, any seed or seeds that drop, please do not pick it up. Just leave that. Do not use it. Then after opening it from the back, you later bring it to the front. And you pick out four seats and put it on your left palm and you begin to pray on it the father lord god i pray into this alligator pepper as one of your fullness you have given to mankind father lord god i pray that let your power let your presence rest upon this alligator pepper that as i will be using it for this purpose let it yield result evidence and answer you begin to pray that this four seats of alligator pepper signifies the four corner of the world it signifies the north the south the east and the west it signifies the four market days according to we ebos we say are for a k ore and on choir the Father, Lord God, as I pray on it, Lord, please go around the four corners of this world as I utilize these four seats to bring to me secret things which I do not know in my father's family, in my mother's family, where I reside, in my working place. You know where you long to know those secret things from. And if there is a specific thing which you want to know, you go ahead and mention it that as i will be using this four seats of alligator pepper tonight lord bring forth this secret to me through my dream bring forth so, so, so secret you wish to know bring it forth to me through my dream and when you are done doing your prayer you finally say Alligator Pepe does not embark on a shameful journey. Alligator Pepe does not embark on a shameful journey. Lastly, which is the third time, Alligator Pepe does not embark on a shameful journey. When you are done saying that, 
you say i'm sending you on this errand in the unfailing name of the most high god bring me the secret search around and bring me the secret which i desire to know then you raise your pillow and drop it under your pillow this should be the last thing that you will do before you go to bed when you're done doing it say your night prayer do not talk to any other person and you go to bed do this for 14 days that is 14 nights if you you could do it for 14 nights or you could also do it for seven nights 14 nights splendid seven nights all good do it and by the time you are done after the 14th night you would if you've not been dreaming before you will begin to dream if you have not been seeing things in your dream you would begin to see them you just do this and you would be so amazed and flabbergasted at what you would see in a revelation through your dream congratulations in advance because you would see secret things which your heart desires to see and when you see them please one advice do not go to five people you see in your revelation do not go to make trouble do not go to cause you know misunderstanding just whenever you see things in your dream use your wisdom apply wisdom and you know how to go about whatsoever revelation is revealed to you via your dream thank you for being a part of this broadcast today if you know that you love what we're doing please do well to like and follow our page subscribe to our channel and please like comment and share our post so that a whole lot of people will see this and benefit from it yes and please invite your family and friends to join us on this godly and wonderful page and group and channel too and in whatsoever you do do not hold anything tighter than you're holding on to god stay blessed and beautiful until i see you until i come your way again god bless you